Hey guys, so today I am doing a cooking video which I know I haven't done for a really really long time but for some reason I was sitting at the hairdressers today, I just got my roots done and I was like I really feel like doing a cooking video. So today I'm going to show you how to create these taco bowls. I don't really know what the specific name of them are. You can definitely make this vegetarian as well, it tastes amazing without any meat at all. Or instead of mince like I use today, you can use chicken or pork or whatever you fancy. So yeah, if you want to see how to do this super easy quick recipe then just stay tuned. First off, you just want to make sure you preheat your oven before you start preparing your wraps. So what I'm using is this Farrah's multi-grain wrap and a little bit of spray oil. And you want a little oven safe bowl, I'm using this stainless steel one. And then you're just going to smush it in there and spray a little bit of oil on top of that just to make sure it crisps up nicely. Pop that in the oven and then set a timer so you don't forget about it. Mine needed about 15 minutes in the end but just, you know, put a timer on for a little bit sooner just in case it burns. While that cooks, I'm going to work on my fillings. So for my meat, I'm doing mince and a taco mix. You can use any seasonings you want. I just use this taco mince because it's easy. And then beans, tomatoes, and a little bit of cheese. So in separate kind of pans, I'm putting the mince and the seasoning in one. Um, sometimes I just use like chili and stuff, but this is just a little bit more mild because I knew Hamish would be eating it as well. And then in the other little bowl pan, pot there we go pot I'm putting beans and tomatoes and a little bit of cheese in there just to make it nice and melty and delicious and creamy check up on your tortilla taco bowl thing and if it looks ready you'll be able to feel it like if you just touch it really carefully it's gonna be hot um, it'll be nice and crispy feeling and then just take it out and let that cool down while you get together all of your salads and stuff so for my salads, I'm going to do a little bit of like a guacamole mashed avocado concoction. I've also got olives, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, you know the drill. So for my guacamole stuff, it's not really guacamole because I didn't put capsicum in it, but I just really love this mixture. So red onion and then a chili and I chop that up nice and little-ish because... You know, you don't want big chunks. I'm going to blend it anyway. So just pop that in there. And then I like to put in an avocado or two, just however much I need. And then a squirt of lemon juice. I usually do fresh, but we didn't have any lemons. So I'm using the bottled stuff. And then salt and pepper. And then I'm just mixing that up in my little magic bullet thing. So there you go. Now, once that's all blended together, it looks a bit like this. And it seriously tastes like heaven in my mouth. It's one of my favorite foods in the entire world. Um, then I'm just going to get ready like the rest of my little ingredients. So I'm doing a bunch of olives. And then I'm also doing like onions. I'm doing tomatoes. Um, you know, just a bunch of different toppings. You can really just use anything you want. Anything you like at all. It really doesn't matter. Just however you like your salads. We're just going to be mixing that all in. So I'm just dishing out a little bit of mince in the very bottom. And then a little bit of bean and tomato mixture. And then next I'm going to put in my salad. So we have some lettuce and cabbage and carrot and I'm also doing some cheese, some tomato and my onion um, and then we're just going to put on everything else so salsa, sour cream, um, the avocado mixture. You can absolutely do anything you want. Another really yum topping to put on top is like Greek yogurt that tastes really really good as well. And by the way I put the rest of the meat and everything in a container in the fridge so I can use that again for leftovers and it tastes really really good so yeah that is basically the completed meal and this is insanely filling and it just tastes so 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 good so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little recipe so that is everything and I've never done this in a cooking video before I don't think but I'm gonna do a little taste test so basically my favorite way to eat these it's really up to you but I like to eat all the filling and then I eat the shell last you can also like break off the shell because it's nice and crispy and then you can like dip it in the fillings kind of like nachos so I'm just gonna take some guacamole okay I'm gonna have to put this down because otherwise I'm gonna drop it so I broke a little bit of the shell off and I've just got a bit of everything here It is so good. And it tastes really fresh as well because there's a lot of texture, like the crunchy onion and like the juicy tomatoes and the avocado, the beans, and then the crispy like tortilla shell. It's just so good. Honestly, so good. By the way, I only just started liking olives. Like me and Hamish went to an Italian restaurant and we got like this entree and it came with all these olives and I ate it and I was like, this isn't so bad. But I swear, like a year ago, I hated all those. They were like spit out onto a napkin kind of material. But now, 
they taste so good. I'm gonna go enjoy this now. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see on this channel, my vlog channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe because I'm going to attempt to upload some more like cooking videos and etc. Just stuff, you know, just random things. I hope you guys have the best day. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I just smiled and I had like food all up in my tooth. <laughs>